Hi, I'm Scott Hoxima with Bare Minerals, and I'm here with my colleague, Alexa. And we are going to show you how you can get the perfect nude lip, no matter what your skin tone or what formula you like. And Alexa, I know you said you had some troubles with finding the nude lip, right? I do. I kind of have a, a, a darker undertone, so it's hard yeah. for me to find that right nude that works well with my skin tone. So one of my favorite things to start with is our under over lip liner. Okay. And what I love about the lip liner is it glides on so smoothly. Okay. Um, are you comfortable with lip liner? Do you typically wear liner? I don't. It intimidates me a Does little it? bit. I don't know if I'm supposed to put it on before my lipstick or after. Well, you know what? Today we're going to do it before because okay. it helps prolong the wear of the lipstick Got it. and the whole lip look. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing about it is you can do it under the lipstick or over if you want to if you want to get a nice crisp, clean line. Yeah. It's perfect to finish off with. Not all lip liners are created that way. Great. So what I'm going to do is teach you, teach you a really cool trick on how to apply lip liner. Okay. Uh, one thing that I learned is I love to take the liner and to start from the outside and work your way in. Make sure you keep the lip liner in contact with the lip mm -hmm. the entire time. All right, so I'm going to give this to you to do the bottom lip. OK. And start towards the center and just start to work your way outward, kind of in a, in a zigzag motion. And Alexa, on the bottom lip, go just about halfway in. And the reason we do that is so that will help to prolong the whole look of the lip. That's so much easier than I thought. I know. <laughs> I'm not it. intimidated anymore. <laughs> exactly. It's so smooth. And you're done. That's perfect. So next, we're going to do the liquid matte lipstick. Uh, this is all the rage right now. And what I love about these is they don't dry out your lips. OK, because I love matte, but I, they get a little dry. My lips get a little bit dry in the winter time, so I get a little intimidated with that, too. So oh, I love definitely it. need to be creamy. So we are. I chose uh, the color hemp. And hemp tends to be a little bit more on the beige side. Mm -hmm. And that'll help to even out your lip tone really okay. easily. Uh, and it's going to stay on for quite a while. And it doesn't dry your lips out. So what I like to do is I'm going to pick up a little bit with my double-ended lip brush mm -hmm. uh, that we have. And I'm actually going to use um, the scoop side for this to get a light application. And so you just take it right from the applicator. So I'm going to do a little bit of this on the bottom okay. and start from the center and work my way in. How do your lips feel? They feel really soft and velvety. I love it. All right, so this could be the perfect look if you wanted to. This is a nice matte look. Yeah. But in case you wanted to gloss it up because mm -hmm. you, you were going out with your girls and you right. wanted to look good in that selfie right. with, with, with your best always. girlfriend, yeah. duh, as we always do. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop on a gloss with a little bit more color. OK. Um, and what I love about the buttercream glosses is they give the perfect dimension to the lip. I chose Flirt. Um, as one of the colors, because why not? <laughs> so I'm going to give you a cool little tip. So take this, and I'm going to pop it right in the center. And what I love about this is it creates almost like a three-dimensional effect, but without looking overly glossy. I'm going to pop it just right on top. You see how I'm patting it like that? Yeah. The reason I do that is so you don't take away the color that's underneath and you build a really nice, almost uh, smooth looking lip. Mm. How does it feel? It feels great. So you feel good? I feel great. 